What's up everyone, Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video. Today we're checking out the Lamborghini Huracan Evo Coupe. We're going to do a max shift and tune, a stage 5 shift and tune. We're going to do a review on the car and we're going to tell you if you can, we can find a live racing setup. All right, so if we find the live racing setup, we'll put that at the very end. Guys, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, click that little bell and set those notifications to all, and share this with your friends. Thank you. Let's get back to the video. So let's go ahead and show you guys how to drive this if you haven't maxed out with all the stage six and all the fusion parts. When you have the car 100% maxed out, your nitrous goes all the way to the right. Final drive set to 2.10 and tire pressure at eight PSI. And thank you to Nitro for CSR for letting me use your account. I'm not playing on my own account because I don't have this one upgraded. So this can, this is great for showing you guys the shift patterns and tunes. Thank you, Nitro. Link to his YouTube in this video's description. All right, so let's go ahead and show you guys how to shift it. On, maxed, out, shift, and tune. <laughs> oh, gosh, I don't think I said that right, but here we go. Okay, so the shift pattern on this one is pretty much straightforward let go of the gas right about number one to try and get a perfect start maybe a split second after number one don't let go on one or you might get the needle kick back okay all shifts in the orange so basically all good shifts in nitrous on third gear very straightforward shift pattern on this car three two one go second third nitrous fourth fifth sixth and seventh and if you get the run just right all right, if you get the run just right, you should run about an 8.0 something. Then we got an 8.098. Not bad, not quite world record time. I'm pretty sure the guys who hit world record times have a program that shift the car for them to make it hit perfect shifts every single time where they want it. But let's go ahead and check this car out on stage five. That's how you do it when the car is maxed out, guys. That's how you do it when you're maxed. So stage five, coming right up. Okay, so if you have all of the stage five parts fitted, we're gonna show you exactly how to tune the car and then we're gonna do a test run and show you how to drive it. So nitrous at 244 and 2.9, final drive 2.75, tire pressure at eight PSI. Remember your car needs to have all of the fusions and all of the stage fives or your numbers won't match, all right? So you do have to have all of the fusions in here for this tune to be the perfect stage five tune. When you change parts, it changes the way your car needs to be tuned. Just remember that. So you can't always just copy people's tunes and expect it to work, but let's show you how to drive this guy on stage five. We've got a dyno time of a 9.610 when it's set up on stage five with all the fusions. So what's giving me the best times on stage five is early shift in the second gear, nitrous on third. All the rest are good shifts. All right, let's try that. Three, two, one, go. Second, third, nitrous, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. I don't know why seventh gear is a little weird on this car, right? Seventh gear, like six, seventh. It shifts really fast in the seventh gear. Very strange. Then we got a 9.502 with the dyno of a 9.610. So that beat dyno by about a 10th of a second, okay? Um, let's go ahead and do a little review on it and then we'll let you know if there's a live racing tune and all that good stuff. Okay, let's do a little review on this car. First off, it does about 365 miles per hour when you max it out. So the top speed's pretty decent. Zero to 60 in 0 0.9. 0 to 100 in 1.6. And this should be able to be tuned to do that faster okay the top speed that's not going to get any faster but you might be able to get a, a very much faster <laughs> uh, a much faster 0 to 60 or a 0 100 out of this car by tuning it all right i do have a tuning playlist that explains how to tune it for uh best times best speed traps best, best sprint races so check out my playlist guys i got all kinds of stuff to help you learn about stuff like that so Overall, I'm going to go ahead and say this is a decent car. All right, decent car. Um, it does 8.0, 100% maxed out. So no, it's not one of the fastest cars in the game. 
maxed out, it is going to be able to beat Tempest 1, Tempest 2, and Tempest 3, which is really cool. So that's one good thing about it. Now it does share stage 6 parts with another Lamborghini. So the Huracan Evo Coupe and the Huracan Evo Spider both share parts, okay? But it does not share parts with the regular Huracan, unfortunately. If it did, that would be much easier to max it out and get the stage 6 parts for it, but it does not. So that's a bummer. Okay, so it's the 347th fastest car in the game at the time I recorded this video. Alright, should you upgrade this car? If you don't have a really good tier 5 car already or a good live racer, this car may come in handy. Lamborghini parts are easy to get as far as the fusions. Um, it's it's going to be hard to get stage 6 for this car, just like any other car out there that you cannot buy in the dealership and strip to get more parts. Not easy to get fusions for it, but it will beat all the Tempest races, good top speed, good acceleration. This car can be tuned to do many different things, so overall, it's a pretty nice car. I would give this maybe a 7.5 out of a 10. The live racing tune I'm going to show you guys in just a minute is going to be definitely worth lot. If you don't have a good live racing car... This is going to be worth upgrading to the parts that I show you here. If you can set it up just like I show you on this, it's going to do pretty darn good at live racing. So, yeah, it's a pretty nice car. All right. Personally, if you've got lots of good tier five cars, lots of good live racers, don't bother with it. Let it set and collect dust until you need it. But if you don't have a good live racer in tier five or a decent tier five car, sure, why not? Go ahead and put some parts into it. Okay. But... For the average person, I would say no, you don't really need to build it, but if you don't have something else that's better already, sure, go for it, all right? So let's go ahead and uh, check out the live racing tune and setup for this guy. Okay, so stage four, it looks like all the parts are refitted to stage four. You do not need any fi stage five or stage six parts to make this a really nice little live racer. All right, so I'm going to show you guys how to drive it. So make sure you, if you want to live race this, make sure you fit all the parts to stage four. All right, you don't need stage five. You don't need stage six. Just put that baby on stage four. Move your nitrous all the way to the right. Final drive at 3.33. Tire pressure at 8 PSI. And hold on. We got a 10.849 on the dyno. I would kind of like to be in the 10.8, I guess, but 10.849, that's a little bit of a weird time. Let's see if we can tune it to make it just a little bit faster. 10.876, eight, nope, nope, nope. No, 11 something. So we're gonna go ahead and tune it to 11.0. That's just gonna make it a little bit easier for us on live racing. All right, 10.999, that's fine. So our, our goal is to try and run 11.0s. We don't want to beat the dyno time, guys. We don't want to beat the dyno. So go ahead and change what I just told you. Put it to 3.61 just to get us in a, a lobby where it's probably going to perform just a little bit better. All right. So this should be in the 11 second lobby, and we do not want to beat 11 seconds. We want this car to win the live races without beating the dyno time. Okay, we do not want to beat the dyno time. So if you find your car is beating the dyno, slow down before you cross the finish line because if your car beats dyno and wins live races, it'll keep getting pushed into faster and faster lobbies. And the point of these kind of tunes is so that doesn't happen. It'll win live races without beating dyno and the car will never change lobbies. Okay, that's the whole point of these low performance point high Evo tunes. They make your life easier for live racing. Three, two, one, go. Second, third nitrous, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. And let's see if that beats the dyno or not. If it does, then we know we need to slow down or maybe not even use the nitrous. All right, if that beats the dyno on the next run, we're going to do it without the nitrous. There we got 11.103 with a 1099. So that was, a, that was a very slow run. That was a very slow run. Let's try it while shifting into second gear. All right. Normally, I haven't actually figured out the shift pattern yet. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. You're going to watch me figure out the shift pattern. Three, two, one, go. Second and nitrous. Third, fourth, 
fifth, sixth, seventh, and let's see what it runs this time. All right, we want an 11.000. That's what we want to run. That's what we're, we're shooting for. There's 11.071, not bad. That's not a bad time. But this time we're gonna try something different. We're gonna early shift in the second and then hit nitrous on third. That time we hit nitrous on second. Three, two, one, go. Second, third nitrous, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. And if we hit 11-0 or as close to possible as that, then we know we got a really good setup. All right. 10.997 okay so that's that's the shift pattern right there and if you're winning slow down before you cross the finish line that way you don't beat 11.0 okay we just barely 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 beat the 11.0 and that's acceptable if you beat it by a teeny teeny tiny bit like that every once in a while you'll be just fine but if you beat it by a lot you're gonna have some problems so let's go ahead and run that one more time just like that and so far, I'm going to say, yeah, this should be a pretty nice live racing setup. This should win a lot of live races. It won't win all of them, but it should win a lot of them. Three, two, one, go. Second, third nitrous, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. That seventh gear is a little bit weird. That's going to throw some of you guys off. So besides that, besides the, the last gear being a little bit weird, then we got an 11.005. So that's that set up just right, guys. This should win a lot of live races. So let me show you that tune again real fast. All right, 10.999 on the dyno. That's really awesome. Okay, nitrous all the way to the right. 3.61 on the transmission and tires at 8 PSI. So that's how I would set the car up. I think that pretty much wraps this one up, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe, and we will catch you next time, all right? You guys are amazing. Lightning out. Have a great day. See ya.